It's fine, man. Uh, I don't go to nightclubs anymore. I'm done with that. I used to, I, I, I can't even do it. It's boring. I ain't got no game. No game. I don't even attempt. I don't. They're like, oh, are we interested in each other? No. Okay, I'm going to take a nap. Um, I'm serious. It's boring. I ain't got no game. And I don't know when this started, but yeah, the music is too loud. Isn't that crazy? I don't know when that happened for me. I was at a club in New York. I was in there two minutes, went to the DJ like. Cause you can't hear the person right next to you. They are literally this close and you gotta yell the whole night like, what? What? And all you can do is hope that their face matches what you think they're saying. Matter of fact, you wanna say something bad, that's the time to say it. Yeah, I kill people on Tuesdays. I'm saying, that way when it come out in the news, she'd be like, I didn't know. Baby, I told you the first night I met you. <laughs> now I gotta go, it's Tuesday. Don't try and change me. <laughs> uh, but like I said, I hadn't been here in a long time, so I had to use uh, the GPS to get here, Waze. Anybody familiar with Waze? I love Waze. Waze is the fastest, right? Not the safest. <laughs> Found that out yesterday. Waze will have you going through alleys, backyards, somebody's house. Like, turn left at the sink. Because it's spooky accurate. Super, you'll be driving, it'll be like, object in road. And you'll look, there's an object right there in the road. And part of you is amazed by that technology. Then you freaked out like, where the hell are you? <laughs> to where you can see this Skittle in the road. <laughs> it's a small object. Spooky accurate, it'll be like, car on shoulder. Yo, look, there's a car right there on the shoulder, yo. Spooky accurate, because then it'll be like, crack deal, two blocks ahead. <laughs> Spooky accurate, because then it'll be like, better deal two blocks south. <laughs> you got too much information up there. <laughs> did you guys know you could uh, download Morgan Freeman's voice? That's right, did as soon as I found out. <laughs> Why would you not? What kind of heartless person are you that you don't want Morgan Freeman telling you how to get to where you gotta go? Be like, I'm Morgan Freeman. Let's go home. Yeah, let's go home, man. Let's pick up Andy Dufresne, too, bro. Three people got that Shawshank reference. That's fine. That's fine. They'll edit it out. Anyway. I like that they can uh, customize the voices. I wish they could personalize it to you, because sometimes that voice is so automated that it throws you off as you're driving. You'd be driving, just enjoying it. He'd be like, bing, turn left here. And you're like, oh, that was my favorite part of the song. <laughs> I like they personalize it. I, I think they should customize it to you, though, your personality. You know, that way when it comes on, it doesn't throw you off. You know, you rolling down the street. <laughs> hey, player, turn left at the next corner. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's my dude. All right. You don't want to get one too personalized, though. You don't want to get one with, like, emotional problems. <laughs> it don't take you where you want to go. It take you where you think you should go. <laughs> like, church? I didn't pick church. That's my point. What the hell? My ex-girlfriend house, you know you still love her. Mind your business, GPS. <laughs> but I made it, I'm here. Uh, I realized something earlier as uh, I'm getting older, which is, uh, which is fine. I'm at, I'm at that point where I realized uh, I might need glasses uh, for reading, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, so I had to make the hard decision, you know, to uh, stop reading. <laughs> 
Yeah, I got colors and shapes down. I'm pretty good. I have the basics. I'm good. I'm cool with getting older. I knew I was getting older when I started rooting against the kids in scary movies. Some of y'all know what I'm talking about, right? Remember how you watch Friday the 13th, Halloween, teenagers do something stupid or rebellious, but you still want them to make it? You want them to live. You're like, run in the barn, he's coming, run in the barn. Now I'm like, your mom and dad told you not to leave the house. It's a school night, you're being disrespectful. They in the barn, Jason, go get them, they in the barn. Spank them first, they was drinking too. <laughs> I'm cool with it, I'm cool with it, but the, the downside of getting older is that you, you, get a point, you get to a point where you realize your mind and body aren't always on the same page. Oh my God, oh my God, that's where I'm at now. You know what I'm saying? And that's a hard place for dudes to be. I was playing basketball, went to block a shot, because my mind <laughs> said, Ty, go block that shot. You can block that shot. Went to block the shot, my body was like, hey! <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> you didn't check with us about blocking a shot. <laughs> what we can do is let you twist the ankle and uh, hyperventilate. We got you covered on that. Because I play ball with these 20 year olds and I don't know why it's dumb, it's dumb. Because first of all, the motivation of a 20 year old in the gym, way different than mine. Way different than mine. They walk in the gym, they working on being the next LeBron. They working on being the next Kobe. I'm working on my cholesterol. I had a donut last night, bro, that's all. I'm just trying to work it off, that's all it is. Trying to sweat it out, dude. Ain't trying, to, ain't trying to win no championships in here, okay? And the recovery time. Recovery time of a 20-year-old, miraculous. Miraculous. They could twist an ankle, put a piece of gum on it, and be cool. <laughs> one kid last week broke his arm, broke his arm, ripped it off, grew another one. <laughs> I'm like, same tattoo and everything? 